Hey guys, layout update time. Got a few changes over here in the yard. Started getting a little motivated. Trying to get the yard looking a little bit more presentable. So, got a lot of stuff happening over here as you can see. We'll start out here at the uh, the engine uh, storage tracks, I guess, uh, servicing area. As you can see, we now have some uh, Oh, concrete platforms in place there. Still got to weather them up a little bit, but uh, cut some styrene and got them in place over here so the guys can actually have some place to stand. It's not uh, a bunch of gravel. Also got some power lines in, as you can see. Right here, I took my uh, telephone poles, or I said call them telephone poles, but power, power poles, and uh, I thought I'd put them in this place because I was looking at... Uh, the uh, prototype facility and there's a whole bunch of power lines just running all over the place so I ended up running uh, one out along the edge over here now some people may say wow aren't you gonna I don't know, trip over this when you're doing stuff eh, we'll see how it works out but uh, I thought it kind of looked cool right here so I ran my other set of uh, power lines power poles over on this side and uh, the whole reason for that is I plan on getting some lighting and I'm going to have a, at least one light tower over here so I wanted to have some lines running to it and whatnot. Yay! Here we go Mr. Torres sitting there and as you can see put in a bunch of little details right here little bollards there that I made up. Uh, those are actually made out of toothpicks, little round toothpicks. Uh, just kind of cut them in half and sanded up the uh, tops of them and then uh, you know painted them and stuck them in the ground they look pretty good yeah oh also I finished making you know we had this portage on right over here and uh, the kit that I got actually comes with uh, a total of four so I actually made the other guys right over there just threw them together really quick you might think, wow, that's a lot of porta johns, right? But actually, if you look at the Google Street View of the prototype yard, kind of off in the end over here someplace, on one of the ends, uh, there's a little fenced off area before you kind of get into the yard, and it's like storage area for porta potties. <laughs> that's one of the reasons that I bought those guys right there. So uh, we'll figure out some more stuff. We'll figure out where we're going to put them, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't want to do with them, but uh, I'll do something. Anyway, yeah, place is starting to look a little bit more uh, presentable, I think. Right? Got the power lines coming over here. Uh, like I said, I temporarily just have them kind of taped up with some, well, electrical tape, right? They're power lines. And just stuck onto the ground right there just to keep the power lines nice and tight, like so. And uh, we'll see how they do overnight. See if I gotta tighten them up here and there. And uh, let's see, what else did I get going over here? Well, we got a couple, look at that, hey, it's Engineer Rick with his dog, Benjamin. Getting ready to go out on, uh, on a local right there. Got a couple little dogs. Yep, you can hear them barking, see that? Yeah, and let's see, what else did I get done here? A lot of weathering kind of stuff, just minor weathering stuff on the locomotives. Uh, did a, let me see if I can give you a good shot of that. Good, did a little bit more graffiti there. You can see kind of the green. I actually watched a uh, one of the uh, local rail fan guys. They were catching, uh, I can't remember if it was in Pasadena or over in... Uh, Huntington Beach someplace or Anaheim. Anyway, one of the locomotives actually had some green, kind of bright green looking uh, graffiti on it. So that's what I did. I just added it. It's actually a different numbered locomotive, but I figured it looked nice. All right. Um, as you know, I might have mentioned it before, I did do a little bit of touch up work on some of the other locomotives here. Uh, took a little bit of diluted black and sprayed up the grills there like on the Dash 9 up on top it's a lot of little touch-up stuff like that and then uh, if you watched my other video uh, the operations video you would have seen that uh, one of the tank cars had a little bit of weathering done on it and that's this guy right over here try to give you a good view here 
Um, it's kind of, kind of toned down right now because uh, the first time you saw it in the other video, it had uh, just the powder right on the on the car without any uh, sealant or anything. And so when you put some flat uh, kind of clear coat on it, it sort of tends to dull it down a little bit. But uh, that's a good thing. So you got to take that into account when you're doing that. Also got a little bit of graffiti on either side right there. Uh, just some scribbles here and there, things like that. And let's see, what else I do? Inside of the actual layout, eh, not a whole bunch. I did do some touch-up work on uh, some of the concrete areas, you know, where I use, uh, uh, what is it, uh, drywall sort of plaster type stuff and uh, paint it, but again, it gets chipped and you can see that it's white underneath. So a lot of touch-up work like that in the, uh, in the uh, layout over there. Also, some of the graffiti kind of touched it up there on the bridge. But uh, yeah, this is the big work right here was uh, spent all day today. Eh, just kind of putzing around and doing things, working on the power lines here, working on the, uh, the engine storage area right here. Thinking it looks pretty good. All right guys, well, that's the update uh, till uh, the next operating session. We do have our uh, DC-9 came in here with this whole train you see in the background right there. So we're going to be running uh, operations shortly. Until next time, guys, take care. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the uh, bell button to get notified when I post videos like this. All right. Say goodbye there, Benjamin. We'll uh, be on the next train.